Welcome everyone. If you closed your circle class from the previous tutorial, go ahead and open it. In this tutorial we're going to make a shapes tester class. So I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name this class public class shape tester and then I'm going to do my open and close curly braces. Now since this is the main for my shapes classes such as circle, I'm going to write public void, I'm sorry, static void main string args for arguments, open and close square braces, close parentheses, open and close curly braces. Now all of your information for this class needs to go in the main method. So since our circle needs a radius, we're going to create a variable for radius. Now notice that I do not have private or public in front of this radius. So watch what happens if I add a scope. And now I'm going to compile. And the com I'll save the class and it's going to come back with illegal start of expression. So I'm going to take out the scope and recompile the tester class and now my compilation is correct. So I want to be able to have the user enter the size of the radius of the circle they want to calculate the area for. So I'm going to create an instance of the scanner class. I'll call it this instance reader and it's part of the system dot input. Alright, now if I compile this, it's going to give me an error because it cannot find the scanner class. So I need to import a library to do this, so I'm going to import java.util for utilities and import the scanner class. And now if I compile my compilation is correct. So now that we have an instance of the scanner class let's um, print a message to the user so they know what this program is about. So we'll do system.out.print line this program calculates the area of various shapes. And we'll say um, that please enter a radius to calculate the area area of a circle. Make sure to close your quotation marks for your string and close parentheses and put a semicolon at the end of the statements. Alright, so now we will scan in um, the radius from the user and place it into our variable radius. So we'll assign radius to reader dot next double. And we also need to add reader dot next line as double doesn't have a carriage return as part of that method to make sure that the value gets into the variable radius. Now we'll create an instance of our circle class. So we'll say circle, circle one is equal to new circle and we need to pass in the value in our variable radius. And then we will print out the radius of a circle so we will say system dot out dot print line and we'll call the get radius method on our circle. So we'll say circle 
one dot get radius. We'll go ahead and compile this to make sure we don't have any mistakes. And it looks like we're good, so we'll run the program. And it asks us to input the radius, so we'll say 3.2. And it is printing out the radius of our new circle because we use the get radius method on circle one. So now we can use our setter method to um, set the radius to a different value. So we'll say circle one dot set radius and we'll make it 4.2 for a particular value. And then we'll go ahead and print out the new radius. And we'll go ahead and compile to see if we have any mistakes. And we'll run the program. We'll enter the first radius as 2.3. And then notice it changed the radius to 4.2 and printed it out. And we can also add the value to a string. So we can say something like system dot out dot print ln the area of your circle is circle one dot calculate area and we'll pass in radius that the user enters and we'll go ahead and comment out the get radius method and the statement that changes the radius. And we'll go ahead and print out the radius we enter just to know what we put input to confirm what we inputted and then we'll calculate the area of our circle. So let's compile to make sure that we don't have any problems. It looks like we forgot something. It says I spelled radius wrong, so R-A-D-I-U-S. We'll recompile. And now we'll run it. We'll enter a radius of 6.5. And the area of our circle is 132.73. And that is it for this tutorial. See you next time.